Yeah, I mean, again, it, it, for something like objections, it depends very much on the nature of the objection and the temperature of the room. I mean, the um, some objections can be a little bit of probing. Um, some objections can be, you know, we've all been in a situation where maybe where one individual in the customer room is a little bit maybe aggressive. Um, so really bear that in mind. Uh, objections, it's, it's absolutely a customer's right to probe and test, you know, for um, their confidence level in you. So they're kind of testing you. Um, the most important thing if you get an objection f for me is to have, um, have the ability to pause for a second. Now, coming into a, any uh, sales uh, meeting, any engagement, any pitch, you should absolutely prep for your top four or five objections. So what I do, especially if it's an important um, me, uh, pitch is that you know you have your standard ones which are competitive which are price I mean if you're not prepping for those objectives you've got to look at yourself in the mirror but I would always go myself as an individual contributor with my team I would tell them okay we've got our prep done and this is the day before write down the piece of paper the top five questions you don't want to be asked tomorrow and let's all workshop how we answer them all right so that's an important prep to go through. I call them the top five most uncomfortable questions. You've got to prep for that, right? But there is also another skill when you are, um, when you're given a question or an objection that is maybe aggressive in nature, um, you need to have a skill to pause. A, a second or two of silence is a very, very powerful um, weapon in handling objections especially if sometimes it's a it's if it's a group setting um if somebody says something maybe they said it in a way that they didn't intend all right so and everybody even if it's virtual can feel the negativity or the implied uh, aggression if you pause for a couple of seconds before you answer it gives them an opportunity to qualify and soften their tone or somebody else in the room to qualify or soften the tone first thing second thing if there is no softening or qualification in the tone, there's a very, very safe place that you can go with the objection. Tell me why that's important to you. So you're getting the person to explain the objection, whatever it is. So pause and then ask a question. Tell me why that's important to you. And then you then you go then you go with your go with your response.